Hey everyone, this is Living Dead Gal, and welcome back to another CC Showcase video. Today we're going to be talking all about eyelashes, and as you can see, I've got a few in my collection. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, we're going to talk about MM Sims. They are my absolute favorite for CC eyelashes, and that's mostly because they have a lot of sets that are really natural looking. So if you want some for your Sims for like their sleepwear, their athletic wear, where it doesn't look like they put on a lot of mascara, they have some really nice, like very natural natural looking ones that just kind of add some fine details mostly to the lower lid and then some of them have a little more flair on like the upper lid like I think they have a good variety so you can get your sims more glammed up with some of these like this version 4 or you can go for something a little more subtle. They also have a version that's strictly for male sims I had to just make her a man real quick um, but I use these all the time on like all my male sims like that's almost exclusively all I use on my male sims when I make them but they're just my absolute favorite for CC eyelashes. They also have so they have all of these that are sort of in the alpha style but they've also created some that are in a max's match style where the eyelash itself is like a little bit it's a little bit chunkier it's a little less textured so that it fits in more with the game so if you're someone who's like really really pure about using Maxis match cc i think these are great options since most 3d eyelashes are more alpha bed is full is another one they've got a couple of sets they collab a lot with mm sims but they've also got both a 3d eyelashes set that's more alpha and then one that's more Maxis match Obscurus has also started doing eyelashes lately, which I've been really excited about. They're one of my favorite creators, and I love these eyelashes that they've been putting out. They've got a nice variety, and I like when they have, like, they have some that are a little more, I don't know if spidery is the correct word for it, but, like, they're a little more, like, spaced out. I'm not really good with, like, makeup terminology. Leah Lilith also has a couple sets that are really, really amazing. Leah Lilith is known mostly for their hair, but they've got some really nice eyelashes, really glamorous ones. I love these added eyelashes I think they're so cool so like for your sims for their party wear I think these are a perfect set to have baddie sims also has a lot of really really amazing eyelashes really big luscious voluminous <laughs> eyelashes and I love their sets and they have a ton more than what I'm showing here I just this is what I have in my game but they have been pumping out eyelashes left and right lately so I need to actually go and download a bunch because I follow them on patreon but there's a ton more that you can get besides just what I'm showcasing here and one thing that's important to keep in mind with these eyelashes, particularly this set by Suzu, I really like these, but sometimes certain CC eyelashes don't fit certain eye shapes quite as well. So if you're using presets and things, it can get a little bit distorted. If you're using just like the in-game eye presets, they all work fine. But when you start using custom presets, that's when you might have a little bit of distortion. So just pay mind to that. This sim here, she's got some eye presets on. So that's why some of the lashes don't fit quite as perfectly. This creator here, Coffee Moon, I am just showcasing a few of them. They have a ton on the sims resource. A lot of these creators, including them, have a bunch that are also made like specifically for toddlers and children. And then also more that are like exclusively for male sims. So Definitely check out each of these creators because they probably have a few more than what I'm just linking here. I've also got a few by Redhead Sims, the dramatic eyelashes. I think they're really cool, really fun. Again, I would use those more for like party wear. These Sapphire 3D Lashes by Myobi, I think this creator used to be called Screaming Mustard, are absolutely amazing. I love them. They're so like big and voluminous. They're really, really pretty. And I've got a couple by S Club as well. These are, I think, a little bit older. They've been up for a while. I've had them in my collection for a bit of a long time, but they're fun. They've got some standard ones and then some colorful ones. And then they also have some that are like a snow version, which would be really cool if you're creating like an ice princess or an ice queen, like, you know, one of those kind of themed type sims so definitely fun ones to have in your game i also love these by mary sims i use these quite often as well i've just been enjoying kind of diving into other eyelashes because i use the kajika ones for so long which i will show those in just a minute but i've got quite a few by catco here this is a creator where it's more this creator is a little bit newer to me and these eyelashes are newer but i think they have such cool variety and it's just so much fun stuff like they have some with these little gem details on them which I think are really fun and again you can kind of see where her eye shape is a little bit distorted there just because of the custom eye presets um they've got some really cool ones like with little hearts on the ends of them just a lot of fun stuff from this creator and now we're moving into Kajiko so Kajiko is the creator that 
pretty much everyone uses. Everyone is familiar with all of their CC eyelashes. They have a ton of versions on their website. I've got absolutely everything that they have because I love having these in my game. You really, I mean, all you really need is probably the Kajiko ones in your set because they have so many different types. Like they've got really voluminous ones, really big ones. They have some with some fun color in them. And then they also have, which you'll see kind of a, a little bit further down, an uncurled version. And I tend to use that a lot for my Sims that are less done up, less dolled up. So like Riley in my Whimsy Story series, you know, she was a homeless sim who rarely wore makeup. So for her, I'm pretty sure I used the uncurled eyelashes because I wanted her to have like nice, beautiful, natural lashes, but I didn't want her to look like she was wearing makeup. So I love that they have that option because sometimes when you put big lashes, it looks like they're really dolled up. I've also got this set by Dangerously Free Jellyfish and they're the Sweetie Lashes. They're like a remash of the Kajiko ones and they just add a little bit of color to the under eyelash. We've also got Dream Girl. A lot of people know of Dream Girl and this is probably like the second most popular set of eyelashes that people have in their game. Um, they've got several. I think I've got like six or seven in, in this uh, collection here. I think they just released a new one too that I need to download, but I absolutely love their eyelashes. Again, like just some nice variety, like some, you can get some really big, really fun, almost doll-like eyelashes with the ones that they have. And I, I really enjoy using these. Sometimes again, they're like a little bit bigger than what I'm going for, for some of my natural looking Sims. But when I'm just like having fun making like just a Sim willy nilly, I'll, I'll use these. Like, especially these flower ones I think are so cool. I love the little flower detail. I need to make a Sim that I can use those on. And then we've also got Miko. Miko uh, has come out with I think five different sets so far and these are really really beautiful really nice lashes as well. And one thing I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video I will also give you guys a link to the EA eyelash remover that I use. That just helps me make sure that like you don't see like the big clunky ones that EA has in the game and then that way these actually show up a little bit nicer on your sim and they're not kind of being overpowered by that like big clunky EA eyelash. But speaking of clunky and EA, we're gonna move into 2D eyelashes, but these however are not clunky. These are beautiful. These are by Sims 3 Melancholic. And the reason I wanted to include some 2D lashes on here is because they can be nice if you're running into any kind of conflicts with your 3D lashes. Sometimes 3D lashes can conflict with different like rings or nails or even skin details. And so I really, really like to have these 2D lashes that are found usually in like the eyeliner category, just in case your 3D eyelashes aren't working. This is a really good backup to have. And also you can even add it with, you know, one of your favorite 3D lashes, which I like to do with this set by Cosmetic. Um, it just kind of adds a little bit more flair to it. So so if I compare that, I'll show you with like these 3D lashes, it makes it just really fun and it makes it really pop. Now, a lot of these lashes, most of them are found in the glasses category. Some are in skin details and piercings. I have noted in the document where you can find them. But that wraps up everything for the CC eyelashes. I hope you guys found some stuff that you like. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.